Mad Elias and anyone watching, how's life going for you? It's Joe, aka Mad Joe C. Welcome to the video. This is going to be my reaction and review for season two, episode seven of One Punch Man. Let's get it. Kick back, chillax, and enjoy the reaction. <laughs> わたしの一族は天土代々自由集内電子のみを掛け合わせ作られてきた選ばれしたに中でも私は過去最高傑作もはやグミンどもとは全く異なる新しい種族なのだこの戦いを支配する大げさな奴だな同物腰の品種改良
This is the matchup I've been waiting for. Jeez. He's going to 100% try hard now. この。ああ。立派な心差し、崇高な思想、高尚な倫理観、黄色的な正義感、俺の求めている楽しい人生には、むしろ退屈のもとになる不純物感。Serious <laughs> あ、そんなもん関係ねえよ。やりたいことやってんのはお前だけじゃねえぞ。推理って言ったっけ。これからも一つアドバイスしてやる。推理。楽しむのが目的なら、それ。Oh え、説明いたします。全大会に起きたウルフマンなりすます事件。これを反省し、今大会から参加の規約が改定され、マスクや被り物が原則禁止となりました。活動も被り物と判断します。やって。チャランコ選手は失格。デイ。なんとここで試合
負けた。初めて。Before any of you leave comments saying what about the cutscene, I saw the cutscene, I just didn't include it in the video. I stopped recording after you know, the episode initially ended and I forgot that you know, sometimes there's cutscenes. So that's why it's not in the video, but I did see the cutscene with Geno's getting back up. Um, as far as the episode, I don't really have too much to talk about because, like, pretty much the whole episode was just the finals of the Super Fight Tournament. It actually went a bit differently than I thought it would go. You know, I, obviously I was thinking that Saitama was just going to end them in one punch like everyone else, but he really wanted to to see what this guy had up his sleeve and he he wasn't going he didn't start going serious until the very end because at first he was just using leg kicks the whole time and he could kind of sense something about Chironko. He could he kind of sensed something about him and yeah he just kept using leg moves, kept going for the head, didn't go serious until the end. And then Saitama kind of I what I liked about the fight was not necessarily the fight but just the com the back and forth conversation between them because now I forgot his name I think it was like Shiru maybe but he was saying stuff that you know Saitama it would, I guess it would make him a bit upset in a way because he was saying things like um it's fun to be strong and stuff and so Saitama's just there like well, okay, yeah, but, you know, I'm strong to a point where it's not fun. I just take literally every single thing out in one punch. And that's it. I don't get a real fight like you do. So, he was saying, you know, different things where, you know, in Saitama's mind, it's like, well, this guy thinks this is fun. He thinks he knows this, but I'm this guy who you know, can take anything out in an instant. So what's fun for you isn't really fun for me. I don't get that enjoyment, that fun factor in fighting like you do. So what I really liked about that, like I said, was not necessarily the fight itself because it wasn't really much of a fight. It was just uh, the guy going crazy on Saitama. But I really liked the conversation. I liked the things that he was saying to Saitama and how Saitama responded to those things based on, you know, how Saitama is. So I liked that a lot. Um, and he didn't take him out in one punch or anything. He just, you know, ended up uh, being disqualified. I like, like I said, it went differently than I expected it to go. But I am happy with the way that it did go. Uh, and the other things that happened was the stuff with the monsters coming out, the Class S heroes uh, taking out the monsters. The Flashy Flash guy was pretty cool. And we're starting to, like I said in my review for last episode, I don't know if it'll be season three when the Monster Association, you know, plot thing really starts to come into play. Or maybe it's going to be in the second half of this season because... We saw that King or Orky Orchi guy again, and yeah, it just seems like the Monster Association has been at kind of at the forefront this season. Monsters have been at the forefront of the entire show so far, but like the Monster Association and what's actually going on, it seems like that's starting to come to light in like this season. So once I learn a bit more about like the details and what is actually really, really going on with the Monster Association and why they're doing what they're doing, releasing all these monsters in, you know, all these different cities, then I'll probably get more interested in it. Like, the the King guy seems, you know, pretty intense. Like, he kind of gives me Lord Boros vibes, uh, major villain type vibes, but I just don't know too much about it yet other than they're just releasing all these monsters on the city. So, once I find out, you know, the motive and stuff, I'll probably get more interested in to the Monster Association plot of it all. But right now, I'm just really interested in the Garu thing, because 
I'm enjoying that a lot. And speaking of that, so the, what were they called? The, the group of, I can't remember the name of the group or whatever. I just know the one guy, Atomic Samurai. So, you know, he was like, yeah, Silver Fang's going after Garu, but, you know, Silver Fang was Garu's teacher, Garu's his disciple. So, yeah, he's going after Garu, but when he actually comes face to face with him, like a lot of these situations, like what happens in a lot of these situations, he might end up having mercy on him when they actually come face to face. So, you know, Atomic Samurai was just thinking, well, we're going to go out there on ourselves and we're just going to straight up kill him. But then one of their, one of their members kind of is now a monster and he got killed quickly. And I guess now Atomic Samurai and his group are going after the monsters instead of Garu since, you know, the monsters took over one of their members. I know we're going to see a confrontation with Saitama and Garu soon. I just want to see it. And there's only five episodes left. Garu is in the facility. So I'm expecting to see it within like the next two or three, like, no, next like, two episodes I'm expecting to see it. I hope to see it just because I really want to know how it's going to go down. Like Saitama versus Garu. I, I, I'm really interested in seeing how that's going to go down. But as far as, as this episode goes, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it. And like I said, the last two episodes before this one, the show, you know, has been picking up and I think it'll definitely start to pick up even more. Now that this, you know, super fight thing is over, they're still kind of there at the place, but like now the Garu stuff could start since like Garu just got here at the tournament and the tournament just ended. So yeah, I'm hoping the Garu stuff and everything just comes to a big bang like in these next few episodes. That's pretty much all I have to say. Let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comment section. Links for all of my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone who you feel would enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. And ding on the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. It's Joe, AK, Mad Joe Up C. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out. And that's the video. Mad. Strong. Together.